Hello and welcome to my review on the new for 2023 Jimmy Airborne Inflatable 18 foot Colossal Pumpkin Reaper. This can be found at your local at home store, depending on if the employees have put it out yet, and retails for $199. Now the Reaper popped up on their website yesterday, meaning you'll soon be able to check your store's availability and or place an order online. When I posted my at home Halloween video a few weeks ago, I claimed this was 20 feet, but this is obviously not the case. Instead of being Jimmy's second Halloween 20 footer, it's instead their third Halloween 18 footer. At Home, however, advertises it as 20 feet tall, which is an error they can't exactly fix due to it being on the sign every single one of their stores has displayed right next to the inflatable. So nice one. The box is smaller than I would have initially thought. This is it compared to the 20 foot pumpkin stack. And this is it compared to everything else. You can tell it's got the same dimensions pretty much as that 12 foot color swapped cat. As we look at the back, Compared to a full grown man, 18 foot is massive. Just wish it were a full 20, 18 feet, especially at home, feels like it missed the mark a bit. Being the only 18 footer they've ever sold, it feels somewhat out of place. Taking a closer look at the box, it is in immaculate condition, perhaps the most pristine box I've ever seen from an in-store purchase. Not even the corners are bent in. I'm telling you, this thing is perfect. Moving down, we'll find the barcode right there. And then of course, 2023 Jimmy Industries Corporation. So let's go ahead and unbox the 18 foot tall, colossal, new for 2023, at home pumpkin reaper. Now that we've got it spread out, it's equipped with the YEF 80 fin, which makes sense because the colossal inflatable this sells alongside has a YEF 80 as well. Taking a close look at the fabric, it's vibrant purple, vibrant orange and some vibrant neon green it's also not colossal or boom bounce fabric it's your typical inflatable polyester and then the stake and tether situation is a bit different than what you're probably used to you've got three tethers as opposed to four and one at the back two on each side so you'll triangulate them when you stake them down i don't exactly prefer this method frankly i think it's just to save money but it still does pretty much okay in high winds, you would definitely want to do probably five tethers, so two on each side and then one at the back. And that's always an option if you have some spare tethers lying around. This is almost better that Jimmy decided to do three because now you get that tether attachment at the back when you otherwise would not. So with that, let's go ahead and plug in the 18 foot tall Colossal Pumpkin Reaper. time of roughly two minutes flat you'll find this inflatable is a very basic interpretation of a pumpkin reaper it's lacking in detail except for maybe the cloth wrapped around the waist some fabric drape from the arms and then of course the jack-o'-lantern's face other than that it's very simplistic and at 18 feet tall it would have been really nice to have some sort of extra feature whether it's a lighting component some more detail towards that neon green it's just very repetitive i think a nice alternative would be to make the cloak black instead of purple and then you could put maybe a kaleidoscope in the jack-o'-lantern's face. I think it just would create a more eerie effect and then maybe swap out that green for some sort of yellow. I don't know, just make it match a little bit better. And then I think you've got a really nice design on your hands. As the sun begins to pop out, we're able to see the colors a little bit better. Moving to the top, you'll find the classic Reaper hands or claws. And then the hood reminds me of the Reaper that sold at Home Depot not too long ago. Maybe it was last year, I can't quite recall, but I'll throw that up on screen and you'll see what I'm talking about. I like the way the tip of the hood goes down and you have loose fabric bordering the face of the jack-o'-lantern. This particular aspect of the Reaper, I am a fan of. Moving to the bottom, we'll find two very large tether attachments that fortunately make their way to the ground. Unlike some previous Colossal at Home inflatables, these are really large. They're also front and back as opposed to side to side, so that's new, but they're very strong. I do have a lot of confidence in them, and this is a nice change to see. This is probably the best feature on this Reaper are these tether attachments here. The inflatable has two zippers, one located, of course, by the fan, and the second, above the halfway point it's right there and you can tell that the tethers are about at nine feet and then i'd say that zipper is maybe at 12 or so so it is up there it's not as big as the one by the fan but will still let you release air in a pretty efficient way the three tether attachments two can be seen now i'll move to the other side 
and you'll be able to find the third. I do recommend staking it. It's not even a choice. It's 18 feet tall, extremely top heavy. Even for a review, I've had to almost stake this down completely. He also doesn't inflate super well, which shouldn't surprise anybody. It's a YF80 on an 18 footer or what's supposedly 18 feet tall. I'll be honest, when I inflated my 2017 Pumpkin Reaper not too long ago in this exact same spot, to my memory, they're very close in height. It's possible this is a tick under 18, while I always thought that Pumpkin Reaper was a smidge above 16. So maybe they meet in the middle at 17 feet tall. For $200, that is outrageous. Compared to the 20 foot pumpkin stack, it doesn't make any sense. The 20 foot pumpkin stack is taller, wider, and just better overall. 180 would be much more appropriate for the Pumpkin Reaper, so I can't recommend it over the pumpkin stack in any way it's just no contest it would be kind of nice though to see a ten dollar a foot standard you know two hundred dollars for a 20 foot inflatable and then 180 for an 18 footer i like that i think most people would go for that though i don't believe jimmy or at home would so thank you all so much for watching my review on the new for 2023 airblown inflatable colossal pumpkin reaper i'll see you later peace out bye